I'm here to talk about how I've used Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditations as the secret sauce to losing weight. Um, I'm one of those people, I mean, I have very clear memories at 26 years old, I've got to lose the weight, I shouldn't, you know, da da da. And then living a life always carrying around that extra 30, sometimes 50 pounds. And it wasn't until that I found Dr. Joe's work that I remember being at, I think it was, yeah, carefree at the advance. I'm like, I'm deciding, you know, I made my decision that I was not going to live like this. And, you know, it's a process, it takes time. Um, I found, I attracted the correct coaches that I needed, you know, uh, to get in physical shape, you know, yoga teachers and a, co and a fitness coach. And you know, had to do the you know matter moving matter. You know, had to exercise and, and get the bulk of it off. But um, it was really about yeah you know, changing my you know uh, my body through exercise plus then changing all those unconscious habits around body image. What does it mean to be beautiful? Are only you know supermodels allowed to be beautiful? Um, what did that mean about my self worth? And that was probably one of the biggest hurdles was, am I worthy? And then there was a the whole issue about, is it safe to be beautiful? Because, you know, a lot of women deal with, you know, I want to be pretty, but then that attracts weird energy from, or that sends the wrong signals to men. And, you know, there's all of that stuff as part of it. So it was years and realizing it was years of all of these things running in the background, running in the background. And then even to the point of then, using science, right? We're using science about the meditation, so I had to science out the weight loss. You know, I had to weigh myself every day. And most people, that's like, no, it's so emotional. You have this, you know, emotional idea, but it's, no, that's the truth. That's what you weigh today. And you weigh yourself every day, and you count the calories, and you do all those things. And you, but with the meditation, because every day, I would start my day just spending an hour so happy that when I would come out of it, it was like, yeah, we're going to exercise, and yeah, we're going to cook some good food today, and it just made all the difference. And then, you know, going to events, and with each one coming to new levels of awareness, and bringing new practices back. When I started to um, meditate every day at 4 a.m., made a huge difference, a huge change in, um, again, my awarenesses. And then just being able to yeah, be more conscious about everything. And it came down to um, then looking at triggers like social eating. Like when I'm at home cooking my own food, I'm on it. When I'm out with a bunch of friends and you're talking, you're carrying on, and there's cake and I've eaten it. How did that happen? You know, where did I go? And understanding that, yeah, it was all in my head and not in my body. And, you know, that there was that whole thing about eating your emotions and so working on the emotional part of it was probably the, the biggest factor. Um, but yeah, the meditations just made it um, being present every day and then looking at your goals. And then I would do things like, I would do the blessing, blessing of the energy centers. And I think it was around the num blessing of the energy centers three where he says to add a symbol in each one. Well, I had put my goal weight in each center so that every part of me was working towards that. And then I, I achieved that goal. And then it was like, well, we can you know, go a little further. So we've got another one to go. And then I started doing things like doing the walking meditations on my elliptical. And so you know, I'm getting a workout. I'm getting a meditation. And I think it was after Amelia Island where we were doing, I think it was walking meditation four or five, or, where he talks about you know, um, seeing your future self. And I had, so I close my eyes when I'm on my elliptical, I'm doing my thing, and I see myself going over a hill, and on the other side of the hill is me in this body, with open arms, greeting the past me, and the message was, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it. And that just, like, okay, I'm gonna make it, and I did, and I have, you know, so. Um, the numbers are, I lost about 55 pounds. Um, I'm wearing a size 10 pants. I used to be size 20. Um, the other part of it is being, so I traveled here for this event, and normally when I travel, I, you know, my head hurts or my shoulders hurt or I get sick. I've had 
more energy, I'm pain-free, I've been able to just go and do what I want to do. I've been on this last week maybe four hours of sleep a night, and it didn't matter, you know, to just really absorb and have a really great time at this event. So um, it has changed my life for the better. I mean, and the other thing, like wearing the size 10 skinny jeans, it's like I get to put these on every day. It's not like, oh, I'm only wearing them today and, and tomorrow I'll explode and be huge again. You know, it's like, that's not going to happen. This is real. This is my new reality. And you know what? You look mm -hmm. younger. That's an it's interesting thing, too. That and my hair color is, there's, if you look at some photos, my hair is really gray and now it looks like it's getting darker. So epigenetics, I think, is a real big factor. Um, I, oh, another point is, um, so I made this decision when I was 53, so now I'm 57, so it's post-menopausal, and everyone says, oh, after menopause you can never, you know, lose weight. And that was really part of the big thing, it's like I see, I'd see those pictures. I'm like, I don't want to be this post-menopausal blob where I have to cut my hair off and wear dumpy clothes and just, you know, fit in with that. I'm like, no, there's more life to live, you know, I want to have a good time. So. And last year, my husband and I went hiking in Spain, where normally, you know, it's like, again, travel would always be problematic, but we were hiking 10 miles a day and having a great time and enjoying the wine and the food and everything else. And that's, you know, it's all about being able to, as Dr. Joe says, enjoy being in a 3D reality with having your senses, but also know when you need to connect back to source.